This is the first video. Hopefully it's one of two. I'm trying to make it, trying to stick to two videos for this project. But this is the first one for our uh, geometric landscape collage project. So where there's a lot of contrast going on in this project, which I, I like contrast. Um, just like sort of a built-in tension um, that comes along with it. And we've got a lot going on. We have the contrast between um, organic shapes of a landscape and what we just talked about with geometric shapes. Um, we are using um, a realistic photo and turning it into an abstract piece of art. And uh, now we are using in Adobe Illustrator, we're using vector graphics opposed to raster graphics that we have been using thus far in Photoshop. So welcome to Adobe Illustrator. Um, first thing, this is what you guys are gonna end up with. Something like this. I hope yours looks different. I, I really hope that you guys um, take the time and you know experiment with what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, first thing to get started, go to File and New. So we talked a little bit about it. it um, if you guys know me, I'm math hurts my brain. It's really important, and I want you guys to do well in math, but it is it has always been a little bit difficult for me. And um, print, we can go to presets. So what, in Illustrator, this is a mathematical equation or formula that's measuring points and curves in between um, points and curves. Um, it is like difficult to wrap your brain around. Um, but in Photoshop, we would use a letter default. That was our eight and a half by 11. Um, is you know the printer paper that's the size of a printer paper this letter um, preset if in Adobe um, Illustrator is this these dimensions 612 points by 792 um, so that's what we will be using for this so make sure you have that and then just click create so you have a brand new white what is called artboard I called it we can use a lot of the terms interchangeably, um, but if you are going um, to different, you know, tutorials or sites, they refer to things in different ways, and I don't want you guys to have no clue what they're talking about. Um, so this is usually referred to as an artboard in Illustrator. Um, so it um, probably looks like like it's kind of a weird feeling like it it looks familiar yet something's off because you're so used to Photoshop and um, I'm gonna use some terms um, just for in frame of reference that you're used to Photoshop so I will you know um, use some terms um, to help you get acclimated to um, this program right up here is called a selection tool this is essentially like our move tool in Photoshop. So this is not meant to take the place of Photoshop. This has different uses um, and what you see like building up shapes is one of the great things about Illustrator, which is what we're gonna do. So if you go from, think of this as your home base, like I talk about the move tool. If you count one, two, three, four down, I don't know what yours says. It could say rectangle, it could say polygon tool, I don't know. Um, we want ellipse, so click on ellipse. Um, down here is your, um, like this is like your foreground, like those color um, pickers in Photoshop. We don't want this to be white. We want this to have the slash through it because the this is our outline. So we just want an outline that is going to be see, like we're gonna be able to see through, which, I'll explain what that means in a second. Um, so I can come over here with my lips tool, click anywhere on your artboard, and you'll see this dialog box pop up. Let's start with 500 in both of these. Okay, so 
here's your circle. We want to move it. So get your selection tool, click on that middle point, and drag it to roughly the center. Oh, mine's a little bit off. Okay. Okay. So now I want to go back to my ellipse tool and I'm going to just build up a few smaller ones. I'm going to click anywhere and this time I want my small, I want my smaller circles to be half the size. So, um, tiny bit of math. 250 is half of 500. All right, there's my little circle. I'll get my selection tool. And you see that I can see um, through this shape. If this was white, I wouldn't be able to see the back part. Uh, you see where the, the path is moving? Um, I wouldn't be able to see through it if, I, if the slash wasn't on there, if it was just white. So that's why I changed it. Um, wait, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Go up to view and make sure your smart guides is checked. That will allow you to more easily like snap things into place. So I want to put that and like snap it to the top middle. If you hold down the alt key and click from the center and drag, that will give you um, a copy. So I could do that several times. So I could take, hold the Alt key and I could put another circle to the right, put another one to the left, put another one in the middle. Oops, you see what I did? I just, I didn't copy it. So I can hold the Alt key and I can move another one where I meant for it to be. Okay. So there I have a series of circles. That's cool, but that's, you know, not super exciting. Um, if you go to the ellipse tool, let's go to the polygon tool. So the way that this one works is you click on it. Um, and I can keep it at the same same size, the 250, but this time if I have, um, so if I had four sides, that would be a square. If I have three sides, it'll be a triangle. Um, you can put whatever amount that you want on there. Um, click the selection tool, and then I can move my triangle, and you'll see it with the smart guides, it'll like snap into place. So. I'm going to put it there, and then I could make a duplicate of it, but this one I want to, wait a second, I didn't duplicate it, so hold the Alt key, um, let's see. Okay, now I have a duplicate. Now, remember, um, if you like hover outside of the corners, you will get that like rotate, so I can rotate it um, all the way upside down. And then I'm going to move it so it is the opposite way. Okay, so let me click off of it. So you can see now I have one triangle. I made a copy and then I flipped it upside down and then put it here, which I you can see the blue path. So um, that's about, I mean, that's it. That's, that's as easy and as difficult as it is. So um, you can experiment. You can have these circles going around outside of here. Make sure the one thing that I want you guys to focus on when you're putting your shapes together. I don't care what shapes you use or in what arrangement, but make sure that it is symmetrical. So remember, I, if I had like an imaginary line going down the center, the left is the same as the right. Make sure that it is 
it has a line of symmetry and that it is symmetrical because that'll give us that um, cool contrast between the organic um, parts of the landscape and then this like structured orderly geometric um, design that we're going to embed into it. So um, have fun experiment. Um, you guys are almost professionals. So um, you can start the next video once you get done with this.